What is going on there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are here to enter the pizzeria for five nights at Freddy's. Couldn't be more excited. John, are you excited? I am excited. I've been in the ball pit. I'm stuffed with pizza. Let's get animatronic. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to tell you right away that if you're here to watch two dudes catch all the crazy Easter eggs and references... You've come to the right place. <laughs> <laughs> you get them all. <laughs> you are watching the wrong channel for that. <laughs> I know, like, some of the lore. I've, of course, like, played the game, like, a little bit with friends. We are no means the experts that you guys are going to no. be looking for, all right? <laughs> for the most part, it's going to be pretty new for us it's on all accounts. You know, I see that critics are not on the positive side, but fans are loving it. Let's see where we ride the line, or better <laughs> sentences. Let's ride the line, and please. <laughs> everybody all righty guys well leave a like that'd be very much appreciated also be sure to subscribe click the notification bell as always full length retro and watch along where you sync up with your own copy of five nights at freddy's we of course watch us on the peacock that is available for our super sexy rejects over at our patreon page we cover several things exclusively over there with highlights and watch alongs included let's swing away action people <laughs> Security camera glitch! Oh, how much battery is left? What's an interesting opening shot? Oh, he's trying to escape. Oh, goody. It's time. Spooky. Oh. Yeah, I really brought this set to life, yeah, damn. Yeah, look at the celebrate poster. Monitors. <laughs> Love a good eerie ventilation. Claustrophobic shot. Come a security guard and watch the animatronics. Ah <laughs> oh man, they're like in the next room. Dumbass. <laughs> you deserve to die. Awesome. Is that Foxy? Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. <laughs> Whew. Oh, let's go. Hello, security guard. This is spotting. <laughs> Sweet sauce. Big old red eyes. Oh, I love how this... I love the design so far. Sprung in a trap. Nicely put. Ooh. <laughs> Golly. This is kind of... It, it's I mean, that's 80s horror music. Saw-esque, too. Scott Cawthon, as you never imagined the empire you would have now <laughs> when you're trying to make Christian video games. That photo. Yeah. They're all here. I love all the drawings. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Even for my extremely limited knowledge, there's a lot of recognizable imagery here. Mm hmm. This is giving the good. graphics this way. Be the perfect gateway. The 83 one. It's crazy how this did start a spring from like a independent game into what it's become. Yeah. <laughs> Some guys crazy. DIY. Dream theory. Oh my God. He has drawings too. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Five minutes. I need you dressed. That shot shows us this is going to be from Abby's point of view. And though the dreamer remains asleep, he walks through memory as if experiencing it for the first time anew. Mm. In the theme stated. Because I don't want it to melt the ice cream. And can I get some whipped cream on top and three cherries? Follow your security instincts. You want your usual, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you shoot this whole thing like a dream in a way? Yeah. We got this new flavor. Ooh.
I think he's just grabbing his son. I don't think it's a kidnapping. He's just an angry dad. Hey! Oh, but did someone in his past go missing? Whoa! Whoa, damn. Oh, damn. He's just throwing down. I say it was 2000. He could be using this rage, though, to take on animatronics. Drinking punch pop while he does it. Here we go. You ain't no Steve Raglan, liar. Uh, liar. You're a phony. What is your deal, Mike? Would you some kind of head case? <laughs> you beat up a man in broad daylight. <laughs> in front of his child. Who went missing in your life? It's like you're not even trying here. You sit before me asking for help. You know Mike is the perfect victim. I am just trying to figure out who you are, Mr. Michael. Sh oh. Hmm. Are they related? Is, is he Michael? Are Aston? they gonna go with it? Coffee? Sorry. I thought they completely changed it. Maybe that was a hint that they are. I'm going to be brutally honest with you here, Mike. Excuse Given me. your track record, your options are going to be extremely limited. <laughs> you know, it's not that easy. I love watching Matthew Lillard. <laughs> I have a job for you. Come on, sit down. I think the acting is great so far, though. It's a security gig. Full disclosure, it's not great. You get to be your own boss, sort of. <laughs> And you only have to worry about one thing, keeping people out and keep the place tidy. That's two things. Oh, he is perfect. Yeah. He's perfect for it. You want the job or not? <laughs> How's the pay? Not great. <laughs> the hours are worse. He's had this conversation before. Oh, many times. I can't do nights. Looks <laughs> like he's going to cry. That's such a shame. Wait. Ah. Uh, have a change of heart. Is Matthew Lillard really tall or is Josh Hutcherson really <laughs> short? <laughs> Matthew Lillard is of average height. Josh Hutcherson is tiny. Thanks for babysitting. <laughs> the loudest crayon. That good looking guy I recognize. Who are all these other punks? My friends. Mm. Are the ghosts of the children communicating with her? You I know, I wouldn't <laughs> be surprised. This is a Blumhouse movie. Can you just eat some food? You're sitting on my friend. But you should know what happens to little kids who don't eat their dinners. Their bodies stay the same size forever. Oh my god, oh my god, foreshadowing in a way. <laughs> yes, this is when you're compacted down inside of a machine. <laughs> my friend says you're an idiot. At least I'm real. Oh my god, foreshadowing in a way. Oh. He's listening to a Walkman? Mm-hmm. Hey man, cassette tapes are coming back. Pining for fun. Great transition, damn. How about some burger with that ketchup? <laughs> Everything's better swinging ketchup. Like this child POV. They do a lot of the POVs from the children. Go watch your brother, yeah. okay? Okay. His brother, okay. Is it gonna be different from what I remember <laughs> happens Garrett oh no go punch the driver okay so he was kidnapped that's the trauma he wasn't watching him the counselors weren't paying attention Garrett and now he's got to make up for it by looking after Abby. And every time he looks at her, he just sees him. Although I feel like if I was shoved into the back of some rando's car, I would be mm. panicking a little harder. From what I recall, Mike's brother actually got him killed at, uh, that was the 83. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. where he gets bit yeah. by Freddy. The bite of 83. But, Mike is also, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but Mike's also the son of Afton. I have really tried to play nice. I have. But I have to think about Abby now. Enough is enough, Doug. Oh, he's fighting for custody of her. Okay. You know that this is the right thing to do. And she, she doesn't even care about Abby. All she wants is the monthly check from the state. When did Josh Hutcherson's voice evolve into Aaron Paul? <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs> you know, pictures hold tremendous power for children. Mm. Images are the most important tool we have for understanding the world around us. The creepier, the better. Yeah, our pictures mean something. And who is at the center of nine out of 10 of them? Mm. Like it or not, 
you're her world. But what if it's not up to me? You're gonna prove that through this journey. Okay, the camera that you saw said 2000, but this feels way older. Yeah. <laughs> With a lot of its production design choices. Yeah, I was just calling to see if that job that you offered was still available. Oh, it absolutely is. No one wants that job. You had a change of heart? <laughs> How soon could I start? Tonight. Yeah, buddy. This place was huge in the 80s with the kids. <laughs> Been shut down for years. The owner is a bit of a... Well, he's kind of a sentimental guy, I guess. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> that was so much fun. Just can't bring himself to let it go yet. <laughs> yeah. He is excellent. It's just like when and they're a, getting briefed at the beginning of the game. And the juxtaposition of their two performances is wonderful. Security yeah. system dated but fully functional. Uh-huh. Floodlights on the outside, cameras inside and outside. The electricity is a bit iffy. The cameras. How great must it have been to bring this set to life? Oh, man. People must have been geeking out <laughs> throughout yeah. the production. Ready to rock. There's a breaker in the main office. Just flip it. Let's hope that comes in handy. No. Do not awaken the beast. Just keep your eyes on the monitors and, and keep people out. I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's going to be so pissed at me. Piece of cake. Is it now? Uh oh, the switch. It's aesthetically really neat. I will catch you on the flip side. Hopefully. The flip side. Eh. Oh, you're clever. You're clever with your words, my friend. <sighs> God, that look. Send another one to his doom. I'm partially worried Matthew Lillard's not going to be in it that much more. Yeah. <laughs> I can see that. But I think he brings, there's so much presence to his performance. He's like playing it just villainy enough, but enough where you wouldn't suspect he's up to something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he just seems like kind of an odd dude. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, where fantasy and fun come to life. They haven't been able to update this video. Family friendly fun and cutting edge animatronic technology. Yeah, of course. Enables our characters to interact with guests in truly lifelike fashion while cleverly concealed. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Let's introduce you to the stars of the show. The band? Yes. <laughs> yeah, with the face flash. <laughs> Adorable, aren't they? Did they cut it out? I love that, that they don't even show up in the video first. Here to delight, dazzle, and entertain oh. for years to come. <laughs> suit you'll ever wear. I love how that exit sign constantly feels like they're calling to you. Get out while you can. Ooh, this is a very voyeuristic shot. <laughs> I don't know if it's the movie's doing or my knowledge of the game, but it's making me like not look at our main character and everything else. Around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <definitely. laughs> Who's lurking? Yeah. <laughs> Which of these murals isn't a mural? <laughs> yes. They're all here. Let's rock. Cupcake. Chica. Who's that? Uh, well, it's, uh, it's, it's Willy's Wonderland, right? <laughs> That's the creepiest time. Take this one book with me wherever I go. I keep trying to read Dream Theory, but I keep falling asleep whenever I do. <laughs> Everything's better swimming and catch up. Right, right? Oh. <laughs> You're going to save him this time. Garrett! <gasps> They're all here. What 
business. Who are you? It was a lot earlier in the movie than I expected it to be. You see what happened? Ooh, cool. Did you see who took my brother? Wait, no. Interesting, they're immediately associating the personalities to them. <laughs> That's kind of clever. Trip and wake up. But they are just teasing. My mind zigzags between like the first time watching a movie and also like the little things I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, totally. And I'm like, oh, if I didn't know that, would I be like, what's going on here? Who are these kids? Or would I have immediately associated it being part of the animatronics? I mean, you'd have yeah. to assume that something is amiss. <laughs> Five creepy kids. <laughs> yeah. And even in a dream, cut to the static yeah. on the monitors. Spark aids. Welcome to Sparkies. Could I set you folks up with some appetizers? Uh. <laughs> well, that's no fun. You do realize that lunch is that's the most important meal of the day. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> His oh game theory. <laughs> His voice sounded familiar at first. And I, but it wasn't until I thought it was before. breakfast. Some people say that, but, you know, it's just a theory. A game theory. Oh, man. Don't ask me to recognize any other YouTubers that may appear. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Sniper Wolf's about to show up. It's going to be great. <laughs> yeah. That's the one with the... He really needs this new job. Look good on paper for the judge. Or... You treacherous bitch. <laughs> you deserve to die. His job is to make sure nobody gets in. So... We get in. Oh, my God. We got victims. Damn. Let's do this. <laughs> judge gives you the kid... You give us two thousand dollars. <laughs> One thousand. <laughs> wow. It's all they want is two thousand for that. <laughs> no. That is so cheap. <laughs> so cheap. Like aim a little higher, gang. I'm coming with you. No, you're not. I'm coming with you. Why? Why do you want to go? Maybe because he can watch her there? And I mean, it's probably a cool place for a kid in theory? A film theory! And she's got some mental spiritual connection to the victims. Or that. <laughs> Night two. The other thing is every incidental character that shows up, I'm now like, Is that Scott Cawthon? I should <laughs> remember what he looks like. <laughs> I think if we just freak out at everyone we don't recognize, we'll get the job done. Yeah, just never I be specific the about who yeah. they are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That looks like Foxy. Or Bonnie, I guess. Big ears. Garrett! It's interesting the changes in perspective each time, too, to this dream. Don't run, okay? I, I just want to know what you saw. Ooh, great lens. Help me. Whoa, that one <laughs> kid's face, the blur. Yo. Whoa, Foxy. There you go. There's a nightmare. It's time. It's me. Ooh, good. Oh, what? Oh, oh no. She's here to explain that there's a history of security guards that tend to go missing or die. You're bleeding, by the way. You're flirting, by the way. Very demure police officer. I know where they keep the first aid kit. That is a cut. Guess where that gash came from. Mm. Why Nebraska? Oh, you need a hand? Huh? Clever. Yeah. Cause of the hook. <laughs> <laughs> Freddy's is on my beat. I like to stay well informed. I believe you. Also, I really loved this place as a kid. That's why I became a cop. So <laughs> <laughs> like, keep an eye on the old Freddy's. Vanessa Shelley. Mike. Mary Shelley. Do we freak out? Do we Do we know that? Whoa! <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Damn! I can't believe it. She's really real. You've been acting suspicious since the moment you opened the door. Well, uh, well look, it's been a weird night. Yeah, it's like a rainstorm in this creepy old building with power issues. Sounds like Freddy's. 
Oh, she knows so much more and then she's letting on. This place, it gets to people. It's one of the reasons why you're gonna quit. You never last. Does what, she think they what, all just quit? Yeah, I'm like, what? Do you, have you not looked further into that? Have you met them yet? Or are you part of it? <laughs> Add to that the thing with those kids going missing. Kids missing? Prepare to have your mind blown. <laughs> Five children went missing. <laughs> awesome. This, this is the best thing you've seen in your entire life. Yeah, definitely what I was gonna say. Ooh. Want to dance? Oh. Maybe some other time. Show only plays once a night. You're a weird, weird, weird <laughs> cop. <laughs> My thoughts exactly. <laughs> this was such a mystery. You said some kids went missing? Back in the 80s. What happened to them? It was big news. That's why the place shut down. You're not up on your 80s headlines? You're not even wearing your badge. <laughs> You're marked. Well, that was a very normal altercation. <laughs> so strange. Don't let this place get to you. Just do your job and you'll be fine. Nah. Uh huh. Nah. You're a ghost. You're the spirit of one of the kids or some, or another notable character. <laughs> oh, thank God we're finally going to get some deaths. Let's do it. My carnage. My PG-13 carnage. Yes. Let's go. Maximum damage, minimum time. <laughs> oh, yeah. You see anything valuable, grab it. Good? Yeah. Golden. Woo! Yeah! $200 each. Here <laughs> we come. <laughs> <laughs> We're we'll eating good for a couple of weeks, boys. <laughs> <laughs> All those employees of the month. I love the little cuts of the security cameras showcasing and creeping up on them. What game is on your shirt? Like Frogger or something? Ooh, nice. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Chica. I actually missed it at first. In a situation like this, I would always get another person. Yeah. <laughs> and then we can both open the scary cabinet. Oh, thank God, it's nothing. <laughs> that really sets my nerves at ease. <laughs> awesome. Cool angle. Whoa. <laughs> the life flashlight. <gasps> Whoa, no. Let's eat. Whoa. Don't kill not Anton Yelshin. Face hugger. Nice. <laughs> Two. Yes. That was appropriately creepy fun. Yes. Nice. Dang. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> cool. It's well incorporated. There's a child soul trapped in that door handle. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh, Come on. You went into the right closet. Come on. Ah! <laughs> Be there, Clyde. Bye bye, Bonnie. Ooh. Hank? Like getting mileage out of showcasing them. It's interesting because they they've like whoa. Oh tokens. my game tokens! <laughs> Why do you jack so many tokens? What is the to value of the to tokens? Two hundred dollar cash. <laughs> Work at any arcade. Get up the phone and the screen. It's interesting, yeah, that they they've taken a whoa. That they're making them like really front and center. It's like they've taken a gradual build up to featuring them, but they're not doing as much like teasing and suspense and just showing them now <laughs> that they're here. Yeah. 
That's not what I expected. Shit. I mean, they were the most expensive part of putting this movie together, so. Yeah, you got to show it. Whoa! Oh. That's a great shot. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I mean, the That's direction aggressive is POV. punchy, but reserved when it needs to be. Did he intentionally, oh, yeah. intentionally make the exit sign look pixelated? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Especially for their first big sequence to be in the day is interesting. Follow me. Don't leave the getaway vehicle. This way. Oh, it's just a video game character wanting to help you. This way. <laughs> eyes. These eyes <laughs> cry every night. Oh. How in the heck? Heck. That's for the reshoots to make a PG-13 reform. The flip is going <laughs> on here. <laughs> yes, this is wise. Are you being lured in or are you just... You just got to check it out. Got to Got to investigate. Come on. <laughs> the bite. Do the bite. Hey, that was that was that was a surprising amount of violence for it's a nifty way to get your carnage into a PG thirteen package. <laughs> I am gonna take you to work. Appreciate how exasperated he is. I am desiring a little bit more nuance in their dynamic. Yeah. He's either just dejected or they're being randomly really playful. Yeah. Made a mess. I'm sorry. Oh. Dan Jane. I hate her. She's mean and she smells like cigarettes. Yeah. Big. I know it's nice that we can finally agree about something. Yeah. Are you going to give me away? Give me away, give me away, give me away <laughs> now. I like that they dressed her like olive oil from Popeye. You're too whacked out to remember to lock a friggin' door. You're liable. You wouldn't understand. The moment I file that report, it's out of my hands. <sighs> Fall cops work this way. So I used to have a brother. His name was Garrett. He was, uh, he was taken. Oh, is that what we've seen five times? Oh, <laughs> that's what that was. <laughs> It's so confused the whole time. Every single thing that you see gets stored inside of you. It's called memory. You just have to know how to look. I'd like to believe that. And I know that he's in here, but he's just, he's, it's buried. And I go back to that same memory and I, I search for details. Why don't you try to like do hypnosis with like a professional? I know what crazy looks like, Mike. This isn't it. Aww. You and Abby, you still have each other. From where I said, I'd say you're lucky. You're about to get even luckier when I tell you what just went down at Freddy's. Should go. Yeah. You're a cop who seems to waste a lot of their time. When you're at Freddy's, you stay alert. What 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 about if he needs to sleep at another time? Come on, Max, come on. <laughs> That's a sensible way to make it so he has to take her to work. I don't know why the critics made this sound like this was like an egregiously terrible film or something. It could have a bit more flavor, but so far it's pretty good. Yeah. You're not here to have fun. Okay. Whoa, whoa, slow down, slow no, down, no, slow no. down. Abby. Yeah, some of the dialogue is a little wooden. It feels flat, like, and, and like even in that scene with her, the cop, I'm like, she just learned what we've known the past hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, the main thing about this character has yeah. just been vocalized. Yeah. Core wound reiterated. Mm -hmm. I mean, in a lot of ways, it does kind of feel like the the Blumhouse movie version you might expect. Night three. Oh, smudge. Cool shot. They emptied out the prizes. So she didn't file a report. 
No, I suppose not. I this guess. place looks cleaner than before they broke it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Or replaced all the glass. And now he's earned their respect. Yeah. Because he cares for Freddy's. Abby. You've got a new friend, Abby. Guess you really didn't need those pills. I would love it if this movie actually kills her off. It would be bold. It would be so cool. Child death. Child death. <laughs> I know you're back there. Nope. Ooh, love how they sound like cyborgs. Yeah. I don't know how it's possible that you're here like this in my dream, but... It's all the electrical interference. Help me remember the man who took my brother. I love how he just accepted this. If we show you, mm. what will you give us? Pizza? Abby. Oh, Abby, yeah. I'll give you anything you want. <laughs> Shouldn't have made it so vague, man. <laughs> Whoa. Abby! Whoa. Oh, my God. I'm not wasting any time. <laughs> nice POV. So what do you think you're doing? They wouldn't stop tickling me. I said I was going to die. That's my friend. Oh. Come on, I want you to meet the others. <laughs> this is a different direction than I was expecting. They, like, they let the other ones be the victims. He's going to team up with them. Bonnie, Foxy, and Chica. What about Cupcake? This is Mike. Hi, Mike. This, this is a joke, right? I mean, there's someone here. There's Dude, your job got way more interesting. It's okay, Mike. They just want to play. We have to go home now. Come on. Hold on. Here's my home address. Here's where to find us. Anything. <laughs> I had a lot of fun tonight. Thank you for playing with me. Very considerate young lady. Yikes. Oh. Bye. I mean, one part of me would have be like, this is kind of cool. It's like Discovery the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in a way. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they didn't rip me up. They're, like, they're, they're alive. Here. Yeah. Hanging. <laughs> Kept my sister entertained. All right, I need to go back to sleep. <laughs> I gotta get back to that clearing. <laughs> Talk to those kids again. Homie, how are you not freaking out and let's like, try to understand what the hell you just witnessed? Yeah, you just you just saw some unprecedented shit just now. <laughs> so the kids have been communicating with her. <laughs> All the totems. So those uh, those machines. My friends. Does this guy only sleep? When he's on the job. Seems <laughs> I feel like he should be sleeping now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he should be sleeping in the afternoon. Are they ghosts? Of course. How else could they make the robots move? I love how simple she has digested this. Kids, man, they got the imagination, you know, it's it's a whole different thing. You know, we used to have a brother, right? Garrett. We still do. I don't really talk about him very much. Neither did mom or dad. Who are the birthing lives of these <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what was like a actual... full on adult and she's like five <laughs> so, yeah. yeah how long ago did mom and dad disappear you drew that right who told you about that was it a, a boy with blonde hair clearly ever tell you anything about the man driving that car I drew him who do you think took him oh it's Matthew Lillard yeah. <laughs> it's gotta be Matthew Lillard yeah, of course <laughs> or the cop I wonder if that's why the after name stood out to him not the after name why Mike's last name stood out to him yeah whatever yeah I don't know if you just recognize him from recognizing his brother's last name because they're obviously changing the background on that yeah Mike is not the son of him <laughs> so. maybe this is a way for him to tie up a loose end now yeah Damn, what the hell is her connection to this? Hey, Abby, if I asked you to wait in the car, would you? No. <laughs> Guys, I'm back. Abby. Hey, Vanessa. This Vanessa cop doesn't do any actual copping. Nope. I miss you guys. 
You knew about this. I'm Vanessa, downtime cop. <laughs> it's a sleepy town, you know, there's not much going on. Guess you figured it out. Ghost children possessing giant robots. Ha. <laughs> How is there no, like... Why isn't anyone a like, little freaked out right, yeah. by the reality <laughs> of this? Like, and the fact that they're just here, just like, yeah, we're... I, we're I <laughs> like the plot direction, but there's something about the response that's, like, making me a little bit like, what? what? <laughs> the emotional dynamics of this are a bit funky, yeah. I think we could use the tables for the fort. What is happening? I like that it's a misleading pleasantry. Yes. That it's capturing this like childlike wonder to it. You know what I mean? Is he going to like join them by the end and they're just going to go around the country like swallowing up bad people? He needs to be higher. <sighs> you did it! What? Are you okay? What is happening? I like it in here. What? <laughs> Me too. Fascinating. I can feel this being at odds with who to aim this movie at. I used to keep him back here for big events. Remind me how you know that? <gasps> oh. Ooh. They tend to be pretty unstable. That's a spring, a trap. I think this movie was just in need of a little restructuring. If they introduced this earlier, sure, th and this quality, and then you're like, oh, I guess they're fun and kids in there. But then, oh wait, no, they're sinister. And, and, then, and then, yeah, yeah the sinisterness evolves, kind of like a Megan in a way. Yeah, like, no, 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 yeah, it's like, like, do we trust this a little bit? No, this yeah. is making our lives better. This is bringing us together. Yeah. This is improving our relationship. Yeah. Oh wait, they just killed the other yeah. side of our family. <laughs> Did you ask them about this? Yeah, I tried. I don't think they like me very much. Let's call all you do is sleep. Well, you don't try to get to know them. You need to drop this. I don't really see how that's any of your business. I'm telling you, you need to let it go. Ah. Ow. I mean, they're baiting her in. Like, they want to... They want to kill her. Yeah. They want her soul. So wait. Talk to me. I'm trying. You're not listening. Please. Finding the guy that did this is the only thing that matters to me. I mean, Abby also matters to you. Yeah. Abby? Nah. They're gonna use your essence for youth juice. Whatever that stuff's called. Abby. Ah, <sighs> Jiggy just hovering over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So sorry. Remnant. <sighs> you can do whatever you want with your own life, but if you ever bring Abby back here again, I will shoot you. Wow. Seems like one of them was related to her. Yeah. Well, there's my favorite little girl. This is not, dude, you shouldn't like trap her like this. I promise you this is not what you think it is. I hate you. Hate you, Mike. Not helping the custody case. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Uh-oh. Oh, no. They're going to turn on him now. When you do get back, you and me are going to have a little chat. He gets back, you're going to have a little dead. You know what works for me? A warm glass of milk with chamomile and honey. I tell you. Jeez, man. What an asshole. There's some great sound design, and I think that guy's a cameo that we definitely recognize. Oh, yes. <laughs> also, Scott Cawthon. Study the cameras. I could use a little bit more tension and suspense. Yes. It seems Not to been be. a heck of a lot of that. This movie doesn't seem like it really wants to scare that much. Tension doesn't exactly equate to scary. <laughs> uh, like, it's not really what I'm even asking for. It's just. But suspense. You want to feel dread. I want to feel, feel nervous. I want to feel something. <laughs> yeah. Hey, buddy. Uh, you just stand there, dig in. You got a bowl of ketchup here for you. This isn't how it happened. This isn't real. Memories rewriting but itself. But it could be. Whoa. You want to save Garrett. That's why you're really here. Well, if To change what happened. Of course. To go back. I can't. The kid became precocious. <laughs> They're all gone. Really? <laughs> Succumb. Live the rest of your life in a dream. We can be together with him again. 
Like before? But only here in this specific scenario. We want Abby. What's more important to you? She loves them. You've seen her with them. Ew. It's time to let her go, sweetheart. Ew. You were never the right person to take care of her. Hey, this is a little twisted. Yeah, I like this scene. Okay. Oh. Yes. Don't give the creepy blonde child what it wants. Well, I can't believe he agreed to that. He's so driven by this. No, this is wrong. I don't want this. This is You leave Abby alone! Uh -huh. <laughs> See, I feel like the most mood and atmosphere comes whenever we're here. Yeah. Isn't that odd? Stay away from my sister! And I feel like the director <laughs> ooh, ooh, is actually more interested in this shit. Yeah. I wonder if this director has like an indie drama background or something. Oof. Claw the Damn. hook. We're fighting Daniel Day Lewis from Gangs of New York. Oh, looking up at the trees. Pining. Scoop. Let's go. Hello, Michael. You have wasted your life for years hunting down your brother, neglecting the sister very real beside you. Wow, he escaped that pretty easily. Yeah, he just had to hit the button, <laughs> you know, and just whoop right out. Found the dead bodies. Whoa, that's a good gore gag. Oh, now it's becoming the trailer. Yeah. <laughs> now first, it's the first hours of this big trippy weird sort of fantasy shit, yeah. <laughs> dreamscape <laughs> film. Yeah. <laughs> that humming no. always gets me. Oh, nice. <laughs> so he's getting out of things in the nick of time. <laughs> what? <Whoa>. Okay. <laughs> Going off road. Freddy? Freddy's ability to travel is incredible. Yeah. Why do you just stay confined to the pizzeria? It's time to go play. It's all for you, Damien. <laughs> they just, they play so much more to like, oh my God, Ooh. already. She fell asleep. How do we get there? They play so much more to the ghostly element than I expected them to. Yeah, than like the actual like, murderous mechanical side. Like they did this mystery all in a weird order. <laughs> That guy. Uh. Oh my goodness! Uh. <laughs> what? Why do I always get the weirdos? <laughs> also a notable cameo. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> when in doubt, make a weird moment funny. <laughs> yep. Instead of really acknowledging. <laughs> That's the closest we I think we've gotten to someone being like, this is disturbing. <laughs> they tried to kill me, Vanessa. I'm guessing you already knew that. Yeah. Who are you? Her brother. You knew about them too, right? Oh, boy. It's complicated. More complicated than possessed robots murdering innocent people. They weren't innocent. Abby is! You don't know Abby. Are you even a cop? What do they want with my sister? They want to make her like them. Yes. I feel like that was kind of clear. That's a great shot. Yeah. Come on, let's go. I feel like this movie thinks it's doing a mystery, but the mystery is just so freaking obvious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, we're so late into the movie, and you know, I'm like, well, yeah. <laughs> and if we just have a base level understanding of the game, like, I wonder what an expert is going to be thinking while watching a lot of this. In the 80s, when those kids went missing, police searched Freddy's from top to bottom. Except for inside the animatronics. The man who took them, he was, uh, was a very bad man. Nice lens flare. Parents would cry and the police would come looking and they knew there's one place they'd never think to check because... <laughs> Why would they? Because they're cops. It's not just their ghosts that are inside of those machines. They're actual physical bodies. It's their bodies. Ooh. He influences them somehow. Who? 
what I said. Oh, Matthew Lillard. But it's too late now. He knows that you're looking for him. I think you could have warned him in a more him? specific way. You need to tell me who he is. He's a very frustrating character. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like this. He's free, and he also gives people career jobs. <laughs> Is William Afton. William Afton. He's my father. Oh, snap. There you go. That's why. Oh, dang. You knew? No. Not about Garrett. At least not when we met. Oh. I'm so, so sorry. Tell me how to stop them. Mm. Tell me how to save my sister. I mean, he wouldn't know. She wouldn't know, would she? I don't think so. I mean, maybe, but... Uh, I don't know if she's gonna tell him, but she does know. We use these for animal control. Woo! If he's there, I, I won't be any use to you. <sighs> Spring trap. He really messed you up, didn't he? He's a psychopath, of course. <laughs> yes, clearly. Gave you your dead, kidnapped brother's airplane to play with. <laughs> I mean, I guess, like, structurally, it's kind of just strange of, like, it's supposed to be this bombshell of a reveal, but in the movie world, we only just learned about William Afton five seconds before she said it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's not like a crazy twist, oh. you know? I feel like the, the, the bigger reveal just seems to be like, oh, she's his daughter. Yeah. <laughs> she's the daughter of whoever is doing mm -hmm. this. Like they don't set up William Afton earlier. Yeah, for yeah. That there's no build up on who he is. <laughs> yeah, for us to be like, oh, diabolical, you know. <laughs> Must have been nothing. I love how these kids seem so freaking normal, but then they just <laughs> behave like. <laughs> Let's just fulfill the roles of the animatronics. Yeah, let's just wait here and let's do our song. And occasionally, if anybody breaks it, then we'll feast on their souls and flesh. Water. Use the element that brings life. Yes. Chico, where are we going? Going to get you a new body. Okay. Time has been bought. Well done. Chica, I don't like this. You will. <laughs> Get in, kid. Abby! This one just for you. Chica, let me go. Oh, no. Leave her alone! <laughs> Ooh, right in the eyeball. Job well done. This guy's a great shot. You should have been a cop yourself. Yeah, seriously. I eat this. I've been stuck trying to fix the past, but you are the most important thing in the world to me, and I promise you I'm going to do better. Have this conversation somewhere else. <laughs> yes, have this conversation outside. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so creepy. <laughs> Cupcake. It's the worst one of them all. Yeah, it's the freakiest <laughs> one. It's the most demented. It's like an evil Pac-Man. No. It's kind of neat shot. The spirit descends. The body arises. Uh. That's a burnt cupcake. <laughs> Just paint a big tunnel on one of the walls like the Roadrunner would do. Run right into it. <laughs> Foxy looks like Star Wolf. Yeah. <laughs> With that horror movie limp. Dude. Mike, you are taking these things down pretty effectively. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hell yes. Let's go. Afton's got to be in there. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, 
Yeah, I see some beard under there. Yeah. Spring trap it. <laughs> oh. Concerned. I know, they're still our friends. First I killed your brother, now I killed you. Yeah. Symmetry, my friend. Ugh. Go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, children! Ew. I have something for you to play with! <laughs> nice. Stand up to your dad. Little ones tell me you have a sister. She will love it here. You, however, are finished. <laughs> That's enough! Drop the knife. <laughs> he is the creepiest one. They oh, saved him for last, and it is really creepy. Uh, you may have forgotten your loyalties, but I assure you, they have not. <sighs> Oh my god, Stu's the killer the <laughs> whole time. <laughs> Secret sequel. We both know you're not gonna use a gun. Oh. Devour him. If you're gonna kill me, put me in an animatronic. The yellow rabbit. He controls them. <laughs> the drawings. <laughs> they even did the echo audio. It's good. We needed it. You had one job. Keep him in the dark. Kill him if he got too close. That's two jobs. Ha ha ha. That's all your whole thing, man. You always say one job. You give people two jobs. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Voodoo crayons. No. Let go. I won't let you hurt her, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, that was nice. That's cool. Hey. I bet she's still alive. Ooh. What have you done? I have the power now. <laughs> oh shit. He murdered us? <laughs> they know what you did. Move. Move! Shining a light on the truth. Look at you. Look at the nasty things that you have become. No. You are wretched, rotten little beast. I made you. <laughs> Combine. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, yeah. This, this movie makes up for a lot with great sound design, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good, become him. Yes. I always come back. Of course. <laughs> he does play unhinged extraordinarily well. Because he's a psychopath, but you could hear the hit to the former debonair kind of quality that he used to have you yeah. know, of the wealthy man <laughs> yeah, the, yeah the showman who yeah. would be responsible for something like this <laughs> whoa it's interesting that their eyes become red when they've learned the truth and been set free Freddy's is crumbling. And then it just crumble yeah, crumbles into the earth. <laughs> <laughs> I have a prediction. What? The turn she's taken these past few weeks. Balloon boy's gonna show up. Oh, I bet you're right. <laughs> <laughs> the only one small enough to be everywhere. What do you want for dinner? Pizza or spaghetti? Good Wait, thing they killed the ant. Yes. Solve one problem. Yeah. It's completely freed us of that burden. We're gonna make a quick stop, okay? And no one's investigating that murder. Vanessa, I don't know if you can hear any of this. She's dreaming now. Yeah. <laughs> Fall asleep next to her. I don't think that either of us would be here today if it weren't for you. Even though you did lead us pretty well into danger. 
So get better. I love you. We're a family now. You okay? No, no. Why? <laughs> Why would you put that up there? Can we visit them sometime? You know what? You never know what can happen. This movie could be a hit. Maybe we could get a part two. Do you think if you drink <laughs> enough milk, you just turn into a cow? <laughs> could open that sister location yet. Oh. 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 Ooh. That is eerie. Game over. <laughs> what an interesting movie. Oh! Oh, oh I think song. this is a Yoav song. Yeah. Living Tombstone. Living Shouts Tombstone. That's what it's called. That's what it's yeah. called. Yeah. This is huge for them. Damn. That's awesome. First thing on the credits. Not bad. There's got to be a post credits. Oh, no. Oh, no, my dude. Not today. Sorry. Do you live in this car? It's, it's poor man. I said read the... Su hey. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty good. Balloon boy's coming to play. Okay. Guys, <laughs> if you are listening to this on Apple and Spotify, we just watched Five Nights at Freddy's. Literally just finished watching it. And we're going to talk about it right now. Mo's death. And I got to say, like, one thing that I was loving when looking at this is, wow, what a great merch advertisement. Yes. You know what I mean? Most definitely. And then I thought about, like, just how great the Real Rejects oh. merch has been as of late. Reject Nation Shop. Dot com. And yeah, so we're wearing like two of the RR apparels right now, mm -hmm. but then we've also got some great ones. Like we have the Space Babies of the Galaxy. We got the Child Protection Services. Yeah. We recently launched America's Ass. And then we also got some Ahsoka inspired tees as well and a whole bunch of other ones. We got some Last of Us inspired ones. Thank you to all who have been purchasing the RR merch. It is ones that we are creatively involved with ourselves. And so it means the world whenever people... Go because it's one of uh, it's, it's one of the absolute best ways to support the channel. It's my favorite way for people to support the channel personally. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I'm waiting for that it. day where I see a T in the wild. Yeah, on somebody who's not any of us. Yeah, and then they don't know that we're, that we're real reach. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm waiting for. <laughs> waiting for them to be like, no, I saw someone wearing the shirt and I wanted to buy it, so I went to the store. I, I really want to know Nation. who influences the influencers. <laughs> you know, I didn't even know Reject Nation shop was something tied to some YouTube channel. I've just always felt like a reject yeah. in the nation yeah. that I live in. So. I, just, like, I bought a bunch of real rejects shirts <laughs> specifically. <laughs> I didn't realize there was a channel. I don't know why they spelled the real world I wrong, hate reaction videos. Yeah. <laughs> I, no, I, I don't like do movies, that. really. Can I return this? But I really <laughs> am rejected by most people I meet. Um, all right. Well, John, um, yes. what do you think? I think thought this was a strange and interesting experience. You'd be nice, man. There's a rabid fan base yes. out there. They well, will tear you limb from limb <laughs> closer to that the games are like they than what the movie will do. you into <laughs> some kind of gearbox. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, no, no, I mean, I, you got to kind of respect it a little bit. Like, in, in the sense of that, I understand fandoms can be very sensitive. They've been sure. wanting this for a very long time. Oh, yeah. They clamor at the bit for it. And I understand that, you know, they, they're probably wants to eat this all up way yeah. more yeah and and so yeah what is your take on it factoring that in no totally i mean this definitely also be extremely on <laughs> <laughs> Ex sugarcoat your extreme <laughs> Ex honesty <laughs> your authenticity <laughs> i thought this was a very fun movie experience uh it's not what i expected it's it's definitely a strange movie. However, I can't pretend like I wasn't giddy and, and enjoying seeing the characters come to life, spending time inside of Freddy's, and just thinking of the promise that this property has, you know, beyond just one movie. Um, yeah, th this is in some ways like the Blumhouse take on Five Nights at Freddy's that you might expect. The execution is like kind of peculiar and curious to me. 
uh, and I'm, you know, kind of, I'm, I'm excited to kind of bat it back and forth with you right now. But um, as it stands, I'm not a hundred percent like that's exactly the experience I was hoping for. But at the same time, it was always intriguing, no matter what. And sometimes it was being effectively creepy and uh, and you know nodding to the games in ways that were obviously very fun. Uh, and in other ways, I was uh, scratching my head a little bit as to like what the true intent was and what was maybe uh, more twisted before. Like I think th the thing is, I think this movie is in kind of a strange position because I think it has to play towards a very wide age range. These games are rated teen. It has a very dark, grim, twisted lore that lends itself to an R-rated experience. So I think this movie's impact kind of gets muddled in between all that. Um, but I had a good time regardless. I don't think this movie needs to be made Mithrigan. No, I think it's. I think in terms of an actual movie, it's not a great comparison. I do. Th I do think though that Mithrigan <laughs> is a PG thirteen Blumhouse film. Yes, it did. That did it exceptionally well and didn't so, feel too PG thirteen. Well, even though it works. It's that way. like when I was watching this. Sometimes you know you might watch something and you go ah you start rewriting it in your head and you're thinking about what you would have done differently and I don't re when I was when I say that I'm not even thinking to myself what would I do to rewrite it in terms of here's what I would change about this character here's what I would change about this character yeah. that's not that I, w I really I'm like I would just kind of rearrange the placement and unveiling of how a lot of it was done so it could actually be effective. Because yeah. for the most part, I didn't really feel much tension. I was I didn't really find it exciting. I didn't really find it suspenseful. It, and it was kind of like in, in, intermittent. Yeah. Um, it wasn't f that funny. <laughs> Not that I was like walking in expecting a laugh. Yeah. I, I just, I, I do feel that like, it, nor is it, nor do I have strong feelings about anything that is egregiously bad, <laughs> you know, like that. Yeah, it, it's neither it, especially it's, good nor bad. I found it to be very, very mid to a high low <laughs> 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 with, yes, with an occasional like honestly, like the, the parts that I thought saying the most were a little bit more of the oddities that were not advertised um, like like some of the dream moments perhaps i mean i, I can imagine how to cool feel idea. a little bit you know and it, and uh, what was what was strange to me is like for the most part the the lore that they explored did not mean to rhyme but maybe i got more Ooh. when talking about the lore let's open up the door and see what's at the freddy store okay oh. so at the, at the um now 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 i'm so caught up in what i just did that i, I don't remember what's talking you john please stop it <laughs> <laughs> stop me Somebody stop me. Um, <laughs> before my thoughts wash ashore. Uh, the, what were we talking uh, about? The unexpected These parts. These parts are not cut up, John. We the, need to the, remember. The unexpected parts of the lore you said were things that were more Oh, yeah, no. Uh, uh, the smaller no, Actually, well, no. I mean, what I'm saying is not even unexpected. It was it was that. I mean, the only thing I expected was like the Vanessa thing, which I don't think is part of the actual lore. Uh, I, 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 I doubt. Because it, 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 to my recollection, it's uh, Afton has two kids and mm. uh, Mike and his brother. Yeah. And then brother is the one who dies in 83. Yeah. Mike plays this trick on him. Yeah. And then yeah, he gets mangled up by Freddie. Yeah. Yeah. So they really obviously change that. Right. Gotta make him sympathetic. And then, um, and then yeah, them killing, uh, after, and then there's, there's a whole thing with like Afton William. And I think the other guy's like, it's not Hank. I think it's like Hank or Henry. Some the other Something, guy who par yeah, partnered up with it. Partner. Yeah, and then they had like and a puppet. And then goes off a whole, and makes his animatronics, his whole, robotics so company and all that my, stuff. Yeah. My point being is that most of the lore that, like, for someone like me who doesn't, who would be like, don't ask me. I'm, yeah, I'm, somebody. I'm, I'm still like, 
No, I actually kind of was aware of most of what they explored here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 I, if you have a friend, like I've, I've got a couple friends who are very dedicated yeah. and, and, and immersed in Five Nights. And through them, over the years, I have been exposed to a lot of this stuff. And and so it was enough for, for me to at least grip most of what was happening. Yeah, so none of that. it was like unexpected lore or surprising or something I haven't heard before already. So my, my point with that is like, in, in a way, it could... It could have also played to my not. I wouldn't. I wouldn't tout myself as like one of those. I'm not I'm by no means a super fan or or some big fan of, of like Five Nights at Freddy's to the point where it's going to naturally play on some type of reverency or nostalgia for Five Nights at Freddy's. The way how I'm hearing it's placating to people out in the in the cinemas yeah. when they're watching it and they're like freaking out about references and things tied in and oh my god they brought they translated it from animation game to big screen. Yeah. You know, uh, I'm th- I'm thinking just in terms of like an actual movie that they that they made Mm. you know and i think for as a movie that they made i thought the trailers were way more exciting and and when i talk about the placement of stuff i have no issue with anything that they actually threw into the film uh i I, i'm saying like i think what would have been more effective were just a rearranging of a puzzle like Mm -hmm. like honestly the first act before he gets the job and everything leading into when he gets the job like fine don't change a thing like that's all great like that that's all really great. That solid, was yeah. that was when I was like, when I don't you're understand. Just what, setting up Mike, it's 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 solid. Setting up Mike, I like what they changed with Mike's backstory. I think that you got to get a protagonist who you could care about. Yeah. Um, like, and then they what they did that I thought was great, and it was the oddity that I really loved, was when Abby is bonding with the animatronics. Mm-hmm. And is really getting along with them, and it's like kind of whimsical and a little yeah, peculiar, it's a, little and, a, a little bit of a fantasy and, now. And yeah. it's and it's like it is an unexpected bonding, and this is not at all what you ex- what you sort of think of when you think of Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. And I thought that is where I would have kind of placed that earlier. I'm talking about just a rearranging of scenes. Mm. You place that element into the movie earlier. And then it's like maybe there is something kind of cool here, and then there, and then him, and then they're actually bonding with each other because there's this whole thing about custody battle and and where should they go and like no, I could be a dad. Look, she even likes my job, and then the break in happens. Yes, break in happens, and, and she's and there, you know, or something like that. I don't know who, or or well, they no, break I'm in saying, when they're I'm both I, away. No, but, no, but yeah. I'm not saying like I'm I'm literally not saying change anything other than the placement of it. They yeah, break no. in, they break in. And then when they break in, that's when you see that's them do something see the horrific. Murderous side. Yeah, yeah, that's when you see them do something yeah, horrible, yeah. and you start to wonder about it. And then you could have your dream stuff like slowly being in, in, interlaced, and then the kids come in later. And this movie had this weird thing where they were like leaning so heavily into the supernatural ghost elements first and foremost at the forefront, and they did no real like mystery shrouding. With the animatronics, like it seemed, it got to the point where they just sort of dropped that kind of early on. Yeah, they just put them like front and center. So some of the placement, I thought, just you would have achieved, I think, a lot more of the tonally effective stuff that I was, that I personally, subjectively, was craving. Sure. Um, if they just rearranged some stuff, it's kind of like. If 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 when you're talking about Mithrigan for right, yes. I don't know why that's the one that just keeps coming to mind because I think that having that scene with Abby bonding with him made me go, well, that's what Mithrigan did right was making you have the wonder with it and the bond. But imagine if Mithrigan was just like, she's evil right away, and, well, and, yeah. and then they tried doing that, then you'd be like, this is stupid, and then, <laughs> and, and and I think yeah. here. And then, yeah, because there was, like, responses that just felt like not real human responses to things that I thought were a little no strange. No one seemed that rattled by the fact that there are a bunch of, yeah, living animatronics just kicking it and doing whimsical stuff. Yeah. <laughs> the guy gives them the ride still. <laughs> and I'm like, I mean, you could pass that off as, like, maybe he thinks it's a costume, but it's just so strange that you're like, we should have some other greater acknowledgement yes. of this. Yeah. Because even the scenes themselves, I don't think are, ne- like, like when I'm looking at, okay, what do we need in this scene? If, if, if I'm, like, looking at an index card of, like, what do we need in this scene? I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. So maybe some dialogue changes, sure. 
Um, like I think the dialogue definitely could have used a punch up for some rework. Sure. A little more flavor. And I'm trying to say that like the actual integrity and the castle on which they are built, the house on which they are building this is actually all fine. It's they really have everything they need. Yeah. Yeah. Like when I say, and, and sometimes it's just a, f- a, t- a phrase when I'm saying, like, no, actually, it's literally just, I think this would have been way more effective if you just rearranged the way you unveil your story. <laughs> yeah, totally. Because then you might be able to, A, just wring some different tones and more disconcerting energy out of all this stuff. And you could also maybe generate some suspense and some actual payoffs because the other thing is the the way the events are presented in this order it does kind of i think you said at one point it seems like this movie feels like it's trying to sell you a mystery but like the way it's actually presenting the information isn't that mysterious (laughs) and doesn't really lead you to having too many burning questions you can't already assume the answers to even i think if you don't know the story i mean they really establish the whole dreams thing and, you know, the the five kids from early on and they each have little totems that you can pick up on as to, you know, their counterparts as the animatronics and stuff. And, and I think actually Megan is not that bad of a touchstone because <laughs> if you look at what that movie is, it's a, you know, younger person thrust in the position of being a single parent to a kid that they're emotionally distant from. And now we have animatronics filling the gap there. But, oh, no, something is wrong with that. Uh, and with that one, you just have, you know, an AI, whereas this you actually have ghosty shit. So, like, it it does feel like this is perfectly within Blumhouse's wheelhouse. And it does feel like the kind of drama they tend to present. It is, like, accessible. It's not crazy specific or unique. But I think through the acting... But it's not scary. It's not. And it's not suspenseful, really. And it's... It's eerie there's in no real moments. But, yes, and, and it's, the not, it's not atmospheric or any. There's nothing really about like. Here's the thing: is what I'm saying is nothing about this really made me go. How would I put it? Sometimes you watch a thing where like the fan base loves it because the fan base loves it prior, sure. and then they're gonna watch this and then they're gonna eat it up because finally it's being brought to life. Yeah. This did not really do something for me that made me want to go and explore the the lore even more. Yeah. I did not mean to do a triple run. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's bars but, day. But do you know? But do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. This this doesn't yeah present you with some kind of deeper well of mystery. You feel like you just scratched the surface of this. Yeah. Presents you with something that in its again current form and iteration seems pretty easy to kind of solve and figure out, and nothing really. It, it, it's weird. There is like a flatness about it. And it's like, I thought it was pretty slick. I liked most all of like the shot composition and even the, the editing and stuff I thought was generally yeah. fine. And the performances are pretty good. I think Josh Hutcherson is, uh, other than a couple of weird direction choices with how to re- re- react to a couple of things uh, in, in certain moments, I think for the most part, he gives a really great performance. I think he's a great, a great actor in this and i think matthew lillard is is also oh so much fun i think he's excellent yeah yeah i think the performances are really solid of them too yeah and it's it's i guess that's the the most damning thing about this movie is there are so many good pieces and everything here even the stuff that is kind of boilerplate or familiar the stuff that is less about the specifics of the game lore and more about like "Eh, it's a movie so we gotta you know give you these emotional eye lines and stuff like there's something in that where, yeah, it never really rises to anything and everything, yeah, just kind of starts to feel like it's on one plateau the entire time. So it's kind yeah. of, it's like a pleasant experience and it's occasionally strange, but it's, yeah, I, I don't know. There's no pulse to it. Yeah. And it's, it's lacks life. And I can't find what the origin of that is because I I guess you'd go the direction. And I thought, like, in isolation, there were a lot of fine directing choice. Like, I don't know what else this director has done. And part of me was wondering, like, oh, yeah, is this the kind of person who who has directed more, I don't know, thoughtful horror or, or just independent dramas or something? Because, yeah, at one point, again, you, you seemed – you pointed out the uh, uh, vibe that, like, oh – these parts in the forest where we're dealing with the actual familial trauma is seemingly what the movie is most 
interested in and is most invigorated by when it's presenting, you know, its energy and execution. Um, I, it's 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 a strange one to look at because there are so many things that are like pretty good to find about it, and yet it it just it doesn't like yeah I don't know it 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 packs a really does, light punch. Nor does it build up. And it's like I don't think because <laughs> we were like it was predictable, and the plot the plot turns and the and the mystery and veilings were really predictable and obvious, and uh, yet uh, other than the Vanessa thing, uh, sure, just because I didn't know what the fuck they were doing with her performance, yeah. I like I didn't, I didn't like that was such an she's odd, involved somehow. It was so oddly done the way uh, the, you know, yeah. uh, and and it was it was more like just tell me what's going on, more than. What is happening with her? Like, who is she? I, it got it just reached a point where like just you're 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 actually frustrating. So just tell me. Like that's that was the effect that I had with her. Um yeah. because I hate women. Yes. Uh, and especially <laughs> women in positions of power. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, and two, I guess there's the other thing that I guess should be addressed because I don't know how m- I'm sure really quick, I think we should interlace it with something more positive. So we somewhat balance it. Sure, sure. Even though we're not going to do ourselves any favors with it. You know. It just sounds like we're mocking it with the way I'm introducing it. <laughs> well, I mean, it the, is. Just, the animatronics, I think, The animatronics are lovely. I they, think they really brought it to life. I think aesthetically they really brought they really brought Freddy's to life. Aesthetically, they, they, did, they nailed it. They did. Uh, Mood-wise, not really, but. Well, and there is a thing. I again, I didn't hate this movie. I'm not trying to bash on it. Like, I don't I, hate I it. I enjoyed no watching about it. it. <laughs> it's yeah, it's like a very tepid, positive response for me. But I will say, like having, I was playing the game again last night. Uh, uh, no worry. Yeah, yeah. I got the five pack for for uh, Switch, so I was just like, kind of, you know, just oh, get, do you? yeah, oh, cool. So just getting in the mood, and I think as good as the animatronics look, and as faithfully as they are rendered here. They are scarier looking in the digital realm, whereas here they actually kind of have the opposite effect where I'm like, well, they're kind of endearing. They're kind of cute. But that's why the placement and, and yes, of the if you put scenes, that stuff earlier, that could work. Then it works. And they like, draw you in. Yeah, yeah. And then you get it. And you yeah. get Abby's perspective. Yeah. And, yeah. And then Mike actually can see a good and like learning about oh Mike. Yeah. I wanted a little bit more. I think they could have done a little bit more for their relationship as characters. Definitely. That's I something mean, I want to change in the writing too. Because yeah. yeah, like most of what you get with Josh Hutcherson is this one core memory, this one trauma. And yes, I only I'm so wrapped up in, yeah. in, in my lost younger brother that I feel responsible for that I'm completely neglecting my actual present sister. Like, you know, you could, you could have played more with that, but with the drama there. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and I guess what I wonder, cause early on I was thinking to myself, okay, we've seen, especially Willie's Wonderland. I haven't seen banana splits, but there are other movies that do this. And I know Willie's Wonderland had to have had them kind of up in arms in the office. I would imagine going like, well, how do we make it different from this? And early on, I was thinking like, okay, cool. You take it. Yeah. Really lean into the supernatural, make it more like a Blumhouse ghosts type of movie in some respect. And there you you have an opportunity to not have to do the high octane action disturbing. But like that movie for its rough edges and B movie qualities does have an intensity and does have like a bigger scare factor coming off of the animatronics. And it's funny because I don't think that these two couldn't coexist. And I think it really I think I think you've ultimately kind of uncovered the the main thesis of what's not working here. And I wonder why they positioned the events that they, the way that they did. Cause even in times when I was flashing back to Willie's watching this, they would take it in a different direction where it's like, Oh yeah, the animatronics are just coming out. Cool subversion. We're just seeing them. We're putting them on screen. We're not doing the, the requisite suspense buildup that we all would be sitting there going, we know these are evil and blah, blah. But there's also kind of, there doesn't seem to be a whole lot underneath the subversions no. that they put here. There's, no, there's nothing. They're yeah. just kind of in the immediate moment sort of disconcerting. And then you're like, oh, okay, well, well, this is odd. <laughs> I, did, I, I, just, I, I guess I didn't feel an, an enthusiasm behind the camera for this one. I really didn't. I felt like it felt kind of like when Marvel hires an independent <laughs> director to yeah. do one of their movies. And this was sort of the imp- and, and like and that's not what I associate Blumhouse with. No. I feel like Blumhouse sometimes their failures come in the form of 
they didn't do anything to rein this person in, <laughs> you know, like that. Or, or yeah. I mean, you'll get your ones that are at least purportedly like super boilerplate, like I guess, yeah, like yeah, a trooper, no. truth or dare, but, but or Fantasy it, Island. But, but this, this doesn't. I, I didn't get the impression. Um, damn, that is. Uh, oh, a woman directed this movie. Cool. Yeah. No wonder we we're not we, feeling strong it's about not for it. it's our sexism john that's right our sexism for this movie is still starring a dude <laughs> is it a person of color so we could come across racist on top of that too oh uh, well, i don't know i don't know No, it doesn't look that way unless she's white passing who knows oh, thank god okay we're just so she did a blumhouse sex is not racist <laughs> thank god if you gotta be one you know it's a lot more understandable yeah on uh, the internet <laughs> she did an On the episode internet, of you Plumhouse. can be sexist, but you've been racist, and it's hard to get away with that. Sexism is a cornerstone of the internet community, okay? Oh, yeah, no. Yeah. Men invented the internet <laughs> of all races, but they I were men. I think women sometimes try to <laughs> do revisionist history here, but uh, sure. no, men invented it. So, okay, she's done a, a, a Blumhouse Into the Dark special and then some other things that I'm not as familiar with. I'm going to guess like this looks like you know uh, it, it looks like she's got at least a bit more uh docu and dramatic background some horror as well it's not the first horror thing she's done but i feel like this may i i don't know i thought there was a confidence behind no, did the she camera do a movie about the dust bowl i guess so a yeah, plains that. woman faces the harshness and isolation of the untamed land in western oh it's cool lady. i've always wanted to see like a horror movie in the turn the dust bowl well dude watch the wind I mean, it might be. <laughs> I, I would be curious to see this director's other movies because when I saw her name pop up at the front, I was like, oh, I don't know this person, but this seems like a neat choice. And this is one of those things where we live in a time where there are more women getting directing gigs, but they, I think, often are for like women's Dude, pictures. We got to name some women directors we like. To balance the scales. Okay. Jennifer um, Kent is amazing. Jennifer Kent. The uh, Invitation is one of my all-time favorite psychological horror movies, uh, uh, which is I not mean, Jennifer Kent. You that can't. Is not, you know, it's not Karen Kusama. <laughs> What's the Invitation? Yeah. It's Karen Kusama. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Who's the one who's made Seven Samurai and all the great films? Toshiro Mifune. Or no, uh, Kiros, uh, Kira <laughs> Kurosawa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, my favorite woman director, yeah. Kira Kurosawa. Uh, okay, uh, so it was Karen Kurosawa. Yeah. Uh, Emerald so, Fennell. There you go. Or, uh, or uh, Catherine, I mean, Catherine Bigelow is a titan. Oh, my God. So we're not sexist. Thank oh, God. Good. Nia DaCosta loved her remake Nia of Candyman. Candy sure. Looking forward to the Marvels as well. Uh, you know, like this is American Psycho was directed by Mary one. Heron. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good call. Ooh, uh, T Tamara Davis. All right, good. We're not sexist. Yeah. We've proven our point. <laughs> 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 I feel like I would be interested to, to see. <laughs> like, I want to know what led to this person directing this movie. Not in any way that I think it was a bad choice, because I feel like so much of what was happening in the construction of the movie and behind the camera was assured and had s some flair and some, you know, uh, oomph. Um, and yet just the this presentation of the story, like, I don't know, this is such a huge property with merchandising and, you know, g a game legacy, and it, it's taken on this whole huge life. And part of me is like, I could see this very much being a movie that the producers are, like, very involved with and modulating and tweaking along the way. Uh, I could see how this might not be in voice, you know, a good calling card for a director versus just in construction or something like that. Yeah. So um, I'm watching, we're watching the wind trailer right now without any audio on. <laughs> and this to me does seem like more of like, this looks like a distinct vision, calculated perspective. This is just from the trailer I'm getting. And definitely more the person who would make the dream sequences. <laughs> it, it, it would be the person you get to do your your animatronic movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't want to be that guy. I like I like Blumhouse. Fans of the Babadook general. and the Witch are likely to fall like that. Yeah, I yeah. couldn't help but think that if this had been A 24s Five Nights at Freddy's, this would be this director's movie. Yeah, and I feel like this director was a solid, a quality choice for a movie like this. Perhaps. Are you and still bitter towards Blumhouse? No, I like Blumhouse. Like I feel like in John general, used to I've work been at a Blumhouse. Well, yeah, and I mean, 
<laughs> we, we won't get into why I don't anymore. <laughs> but but no, I've been a Blumhouse fan for a long time. I like a lot of their stuff. I often gravitate toward. I know they have their fair share of misses, but generally I see the Blumhouse and I'm Blum- like, yeah, yeah, let's do this. Like I uh, anticipate a Blumhouse. I think they maybe get a not a hundred percent as much as an A24, but but I I like them both. You know, I they, they get a lot of flack for some reason. They've produced as uh, like a lot of hits for the amount of flack they get. Yeah, people go like, "Well, as a fucking Blumhouse well, thing." I, I, I'm I like, well, that often can be good. You know, I think I too I tend to. I've been interrupting you an awful lot today. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. I, I tend to get a lot of flack. Uh, I, I tend to like a, a lot of their films that even get a lot of flack. Is what I'm trying to say. Well, yeah, because I think there is. You know what I mean, John? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wait, dude, what's my opinion? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I think that I, I would agree because, like, there are yeah, some are more inspired than others, but a fair amount of the of the more like mid tier Blumhouse joints are ones where I'm like, yeah, this could be more unique, but for what it is, it's perfectly serviceable. And when they are going for that mid range of the audience sort of blockbuster thing with some of their horror movies, I'm here for it. You know, I'm often here for it, and I'm absolutely willing to give them the benefit of the doubt and this this marriage seemed like one that makes a lot of sense pop culturally and where Blumhouse is aimed in terms of their overall demographic you know I think they skew younger um, than maybe like an A24 does but uh, I don't know yeah this this felt like it maybe got lost in a no man's land of like what audience are we supposed to be for because some people really want this to be an R-rated movie, and it could easily be that. And some of that stuff with the, you know, the mask and the whirring gears is like a Saw movie or something. And yet I feel like they made a horror movie kind of for almost nobody except for, like, the youngest people who like this game. I don't think you needed the... I, I None none of it being R-rated has... Uh, like, I, I have... I don't really care. Yeah. I have no issue with that at all, honestly. Like, I think, I think just the context alone is... You could do in a PG thirteen movie. It is unsettling and creepy. You're murdering children, transferring their souls, and controlling them after their death. Like that. That alone, uh, with the imagination and the context, is R rated enough in its vibe. Yeah. You know, th- the same way yeah. the games are rated teen, but they have a very mature level twisted lore. Yeah, and that that's all you need. So, you, like, even like the way they had that one person who was like, "Let me look at this Freddy mouth." Uh, <laughs> that. That like the way that death went down, and then and if the movie leaned a little bit more into like the way how the games would do a bit of the POV of of mystery and a little bit of shrouded or obscurity or frick like yeah, turning it, the lights off frequently. Yeah, <laughs> like if they if they leaned a little bit more into that when it comes to the violence, then you can even get away with stuff that might seem more violent than it actually is. So there, I I had no qualms at all with it being PG thirteen. Yeah. And even experiencing this, I was like, nah, there's nothing really here to happen. And I was like, this should have been R rated. Um, and we already have that movie, you know. Well, the, I mean, the thing about Five Nights at Freddy's, or like when people compare to Willy's Wonderland, is that Five Nights at Freddy's it, it is exceptionally really into the, like when you really dive into it, it's so much about its history and the ghosts and all, and and, and like the transference of souls and, and all that stuff, whereas Willy's Wonderland is a little bit more direct about like what it's advertised as. And here, I, th- I think this movie... Um, kind of seemed a little disinterested in some of the actual for initial appeal and then went full supernatural ghost movie and and then would like remind you about animatronic stuff to the point where it becomes a bit confusing when I'm you're like, like is this place w- evil or is this not quite evil <laughs> it was it especially became confused and that's what i mean like it needed some wonder um it did it it lacked wonder and and i think when it got confusing when it was like they spend so much time with the ghosts of the kids that I think they should have dialed some of that back. It, it, I'm not talking about the dreams. Like if you kept them just like that in the dream world, mm-hmm. totally cool. But I'm talking about in the actual physical world when you would see them as ghosts. Yeah, make it less clear that that's exactly what is going. <laughs> yeah, on. yeah. And and to the point where I was like, why do they just like act like typical animatronics at times? Yeah, if they're living in these things and and they can kind of do as they please, kind of always, 
Yeah. I get it when there's somebody inside or whatever and they're doing their thing, but like the rest of the time I feel like things could be very different for them. And what are they what are they doing, you know, in these long stretches where like nobody's there, you know? Yeah, and if they can go into these dream worlds and stuff, why don't they just hang out there all the time? Because well, why the fuck would you want to hang out in this goddamn boring ass pizzeria, this animatronic body? And I think they could have I think they they needed something bold for this, and I feel like they I expected something out of the whole dream thing beyond that. I mean, I like the concept of like, oh, yeah, your body remembers everything you've ever experienced. And so somewhere buried in there is the memory that you're looking for. However, I feel like you could have and he's taken the medicine and he's sleep deprived already. Like you could have done some reality warping yeah. or something like that to really disconcert us and to throw us off and to and to yeah get us questioning like, OK, Am I just conflating these kids with these animatronics or something because, you know, the power of suggestion and your brain's crashing things together? Like, there, there's so many opportunities for disconcertion and confusion that they didn't really seem interested in taking. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, yeah, movie's a bit repetitive with the dream stuff. Like, like, the dream stuff was like, I get the whole point is he's repeating this. But I, I and you really get your knights built in, right? but uh, yeah, yeah. But at the same time, I was like, those game fans does just get to a point where it feels repetitive. <laughs> yeah, 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 totally. Uh, and, and yeah, you just need some other element of flavor. Like if we did it like three times, and then you get a little further into the memory each time, and then suddenly the kids show up. That's what I mean. Instead of introducing that so early, well, and then the kids show up, you're like, whoa, what is this? <laughs> you know? Well, yeah, because it's interesting at first when you're seeing the dream and it's different a little bit each time but then once he starts meeting the kids that kind of goes away and, and then, then he adjusts to it in a such a everyone casual adjusts to everything manner thing so casual. that's what i meant by the ghost thing if he's just like you're the kids who died right ghost i don't know how's this happening but uh, i have a little goal here like that it's, would make me he should have had like a moment of like wait who the hell are you guys? <laughs> yeah. I would doubt my sanity if yeah. I was in this character's position with the obsession that I have and then seeing these kids and then being like, wait a minute, animatronics and waking, I'm taking these drugs. Like part of me it was thinking like, okay, like maybe someone's going to be like, oh, it's these drugs, man. You're seeing things. Oh, no, wait, it's not. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> or if he was wondering, is this one of the things I didn't remember? Are these kids Am being I involved here? with this? Yeah, yeah. instead he kind of just takes his face value. It's like, who are you entering my shit? <laughs> you know? Yeah. A and uh, that was, that, that's, there were, that's what I mean. Just like, it feels like they wanted to reduce peril. And uh, yes, that, that is the problem with it. It's like they, they got the information across. And like I said, I'm talking about like little tweaks. I'm not saying big, big, like these little things make major differences. Yes. But I'm not saying do a major difference difference on any of this stuff i'm like you know just add a, add a tad bit more emphasis here a little bit more reaction here change the placement up and you got the pretty much this just a re-edited movie <laughs> yeah well, and, 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 and people get finicky about kids in peril but i feel like this actress seemed certainly capable enough i think you could have again for who, yeah it's a pg third is a solid pg-13 movie i think you could have presented her more situations of peril or something especially when things start to turn sour because some it, stakes to the deaths yeah because it <laughs> even when they're killing you just know that the four of the the guys who break in you know the other family members who are trying to you know m uh, mess with him and and you know get him fired you know what's going to happen to right. them and the movie seems to know that you know that and and yeah there's there's no real sense of danger despite how twisted and grim all of this is t it's it's weird it's like somebody telling you a really harsh story but with like not a lot of vocal intonation yeah <laughs> well let's rate it john let's rate it and call it a day i rated a 6.7 fair enough damn that's high uh, i would give it like a 6 um i think that uh, i like the production design a lot I think one thing I wasn't expecting was to be like, didn't expect to like Josh Hutcherson's character yeah. as much as I did. Mm -hmm. uh, I th and it's really elevated by his performance. Matthew Lillard, I wish he was in here more. Really enjoyed him a he lot. He was great. Uh, I, I think while the animatronics could have been captured with a little bit more mood and a little bit better buildup, I love uh, how they brought them to life. Yeah. Um, there was some great sound design in here. And... All in all, you know, like, I think the movie could have felt exceptionally more convoluted 
mm-hmm. than it actually is. You know, like that that is one aspect to this that I think it could have been so bogged down with just nonstop exposition mm-hmm. and they managed to not get overly carried away, I would say. Yeah. With it. You know, I was like people the people have made the 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 history and the backstory and while I know they changed some stuff, sound like a, a an intimidating prospect to land into. Like, oh, you're you're opening up like a, a whole. You're gonna have to at least watch like a three hour video to get part one to understand uh. the Five Nights of Freddy. And and then so I thought this might be a, a situation like that when I was hearing some stuff. I'm like, oh, I didn't I didn't feel that at all. Like, I, I think they managed to make it digestible. And so yeah. I, I, there's there's lots to appreciate, but at the same time, I do think that there's a a lack of mood, a lack of atmosphere, a lack of tension. It's not scary. I don't. Uh, it's not. Uh, it's like a weird it's Twilight not, Zone it, episode. It's not fun and fun. It's like intermittently fun. Like there's a moment that can be fun, and I mean like a moment, <laughs> not even really a whole scene. Yeah. Uh. It. It's. It, there was nothing un, un, unnerving about it. Like I don't really know what genre this is. It's it's either. kind of a. It, 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 nor does it feel like a, a an interesting splice of genres to me. No. There's a lot of things about it that I I don't real. I, I didn't. I, I found myself becoming more disinterested as it went along, and then there'd be like, oh, it's a little thing happened here that was interesting, and then I, it would go right back to. Well, they, two steps forward. Like I would say, it would be like one step forward, two steps back. Is yeah. how, the, how the experience kept going for me. Yeah, and so yeah. At the end of the day, I w- I have to be honest with myself and be like, I know that there's a lot of massive fans when it comes to this, but I I would give it like just a six out of ten. Well, yeah, and was, a lot of that six is mainly for like the effort <laughs> for everything that that they get right, barring the actual like emotional. Experience experience of watching it because because yeah like in closing i guess like if it's absolutely fair to compare these to the games and i think the games what is charming about them is you have this crazy ass lore but the immediate moment of playing it is all just about the suspense and the the you know kind of butterfly tension of like oh god who's lurking and when are they gonna pop out of me there's not even jump scares really in this movie and and looking at this this has three story by credits and three writer credits one of each is Scott Cawthon, and the director also has a writing credit. I, I almost feel like this got sanded down in drafts and, and became what it is. So, so yeah, not a great adaptation of Five Nights at Freddy's, but, like, also not terrible. Just just yeah. fine. I'm almost, I'm tempted to give it a, a, a flat 50%, like a, like a 5 I'm, out of 10. I'm more there, but I'm more there for effort because I can understand, like, the the, the part of it is that, like putting a, you should, I think at the end of the day you should just judge a movie based off whatever the final product is. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm gonna judge it based off the treatment. I do have, I do have. <laughs> no, I'm saying that like, yeah, th- having some understanding of the lore and then seeing some things they had to change and then having to adapt something like this is no easy, no easy. That's a that's a difficult obstacle for something like this. It really is. Sure. And I could see it's easier for us to be in this position and look at. What we're what we just watched, and here's what we would have changed. But maybe some of those changes were happening as they were making it when they were realizing, well, this isn't working, this isn't working. So, we need, so maybe this was the, indeed the best thing they could do at the time because you you have to deal with a scheduling, you got to deal with production, you got to deal with a whole bu- like yeah. there's a whole lot of things that I can imagine were working against it. That maybe this was the best they they thought they could do as they were trying to change it to thinking about some stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, but no, I mean overall, as a, as a final product, like literally the six is for effort. But if it, on on just an emotional thing, I I have no real strong emotions about what this movie did for me. So I I am yeah. emotionally like a five. <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah, just like lukewarm, tepid. Yeah, it's yeah. It's I feel a, like- it, I'm actually I I would say I'm disappointed by that. Like I have no dis. I have no real strong feeling, and this is. This is something that where you your main job was just to make something fun and exciting. Yeah, that's your feel main like job. This is the kind of movie where you can sk- if you get a couple things right, you can skate by a lot of other things. And this is the weird experience where it gets like a lot of things technically well crafted, and yet misses 
the what like even one greater element of whatever suspense fun etc could have made this you know the fun you wanted it to be yeah whereas here yeah you're left with like god there's so much good work and this all could have worked really well however <laughs> you know yeah 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 at the end of the day uh a little disappointed with it uh at the same time i'm like <laughs> My mind's also going, it could have been a lot worse. It could have been horrible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's weird. And it doesn't, yeah, it's it's such a funky movie because it doesn't feel, I don't even feel like angry about this. No. It, I'm it, just kind of like, ah, this, this could have been more. I, 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 I am so. It's it, very it, resolute. It, it has left me in a <laughs> resigned, apathetic mood. <laughs> I'm just like, whatever, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> That's where that's where I'm at. <laughs> okay. What's next? Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I don't. Know, this doesn't leave you with much to chew on. I don't think I'll be ruminating on no. this. No. But somehow we talked for like 45 I minutes. Know. <laughs> yeah. Well, sometimes it takes, it's this kind of movie. Where you're like, what is it? Yeah. What is it about this that doesn't somehow work? Somehow we live landed into the longest discussion we've had in a very long time. Yes. And there's only two of us. <laughs> so. It's okay. This is an important it's, cultural it's, moment. It's, it is we'll, fascinating. We'll have a tight 10 when we watch The Exorcist Believe. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, guys. Well, what did you think about this movie? Uh, did you love it as a film? Uh, what did it do for you? Uh, leave your thoughts down below. And, uh, hey, we'll talk with you all soon. Thanks for being here. All right, John, what's the theme? All right, we're going to shout out all of our super sexy $10 patrons with a Halloween party theme. And uh, we've entered everyone into ChatGPT so it knows all your identities. And now it's going to come up with costumes for each of you based on your name. They'll either be something funny, scary, or uh, they'll be movie related, something like that. So uh, so here we go. I told ChatGPT to keep it snappy. Let's do this. Let's, we're going to react to it in real time. We're going to react to it. All right. Here's a fun Halloween party shout out for your super sexy rejects. This is ChatGPT. All right. We got Namari coming into the party. Namari the Nightwalker from a lost episode of The Twilight Zone. You get to look that up for yourself. The CV Gun 123. He's the possessed VHS tape from The Ring. <laughs> Why not your ass actually? Pretty invented. It's pretty fun. <laughs> we found what ChatGPT is good at. <laughs> Rewind at your own risk. Mike Joyce, Mike the Killer Jukebox Joyce. Every song he plays foretells a horror tale. That's great. That's awesome. That's really great. <laughs> okay. Sferchi? Sferchi? Sferchi Scissor Hands. The lesser known, even more eccentric cousin of Edward. Not bad. You not know, bad. that would be charming. That would be funny. <laughs> Ryan Smith as Ryan the Reanimated, straight out of Frankenstein's lab. Oh, cool. Count Adrian Timms. Count Adrian from Hotel Transylvania. A bit more fashionable, though. Perfect. Okay. Real <laughs> Nagas as a snake charmer who accidentally summoned the serpent from the Black Lagoon. Wow, oh, there's like backstories to these guys. This is so great. Heather Gear, Heather Headless Horsewoman. That is inventive. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Haunting the streets of Sleepy Hollow. Dude, the alliteration today. Ian si that's a great this one. Is, this is, hey, I got it. If admit, any man, of you dresses they're these. They're selling you all of its capabilities. <laughs> Said pictures. a good suggestion Absolutely. on Halloween costumes. I'm going to ask what I should be this yeah, year because I always have have trouble deciding. Ian Simon, Ian Invisible, the man you feel but never see. How do you do that? That's a pickup line right How there. How do you beat the Invisible? All right. yeah. Songhai Glover, the Songhai Siren. Her songs little zombies instead of sailors. Ooh, wow, I like there, that. There's just stories to these guys. Actually, you do an Invisible, you, you get a shirt with the collar up above your head, and then you just get a wire and put some glasses. I've seen people do it. That's it's clever. Pretty good. Pretty clever. Then you work gloves. Uh, hey, we got Kayla King, Kayla the King, as Kayla the Pharaoh's curse disturb her tomb and face her wrath. Sexy. Yeah, that's good. And you can, depending on your race, you know, appropriate some cultures there. Alan Ling and as Alan the alien from the movie They Live Among Us. Ooh. All right, it's just All a right. movie character. I, I should watch that movie. I, I like how this decides between, like, you are just a movie character because of your name or we're going to give you a whole backstory because there's not a new movie character. <laughs> yeah, this is just who I think you are, <laughs> so I'll make up a character based off of that. Uh, hey, Kira, dressed as Kira the Killer Clown, Pennywise's competition. Mm, clever. Dude, because there's got to be someone dressed as Pennywise at the party, so you can challenge them. Eric Cons 39, Eric the Extraterrestrial. He's not from around here. 
beautiful. He's got a catchphrase. Let's let this be the last one. Nick X. Nick X, the exorcist, oh! got demons called Nick. <laughs> that is so smart. That's magical. All right, put it away. We'll all do the rest right, on another right. video. We, 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 I don't we want to like react to these in real time. Yeah. Move the okay. window, okay. John. Sorry, Jesus, sorry, right sorry. in front of you. <laughs> my B, my B, my B. Guys, thank you for coming to our Halloween party. If any of you dress up like this, seriously, take some pics, and uh, we'll, we'll share them somewhere. And uh, we love you. Be well. Love you guys. Thank you.